Welcome to Juniper's Contrail product demo series. This demo showcases Contrail as a powerful platform that can dynamically provision Juno's Pulse secure access service to maximize the productivity of remote and mobile enterprise workers, secure business critical resources, and maintain business continuity. The world's mobile worker population is predicted to grow to more than 1.3 billion by 2015. As more and more mobile users with diverse devices require network access, and as more organizations embrace the use of personal mobile devices and Bring Your Own Device, or BYOD, initiatives, the threat that mobile devices and network security being compromised becomes even greater, and the number of issues and problems spawned can swell as well. The success of today's enterprises and service providers will be predicated on their ability to enable authenticated, authorized mobile users with controlled but secure, fast, and seamless access to all necessary network resources, and being able to do it from any mobile device, anywhere, at any time, in order to effectively maximize security and productivity. Juno's Pulse Secure Access Service, also known as Juno's Pulse Connect Secure, enables dynamic SSL VPN connectivity network access control, and mobile security through a simple yet elegant user interface. It removes the complexity from network connectivity and access control and delivers optimal connectivity to end users depending on their device type and security state, location, identity, and adherence to corporate access control policies. Specifically, Juniper's SSL VPN, or Virtual Private Network, solutions give your employees and authorized users role-based remote network access from any web-enabled device, including smartphones and tablets, without the need for client software to install or manage. It supports strong multi-factor authentications and consistent access control policies across all devices accessing the network. When severe weather conditions or natural disasters hit, the number of remote users may increase significantly. In order to maintain business continuity and security at all times, no matter the cause, the SSL VPN services need to be dynamic and scalable. Juniper delivers a readily scalable, dynamic SSL VPN solution by running the Juno's Pulse Secure Access Service as a virtual appliance on the Contrail platform a platform designed to enable network virtualization, orchestration, and dynamic service delivery. The SSL VPN service capacity can be automatically scaled up to accommodate a higher level of connection and authentication requests and scaled down to conserve resources once the request level returns to normal. The benefits of this solution are obvious. First, leveraging network function virtualization Service providers and enterprises can quickly deploy SSL VPN services on demand and scale services up and down on existing compute and network infrastructure in a cost-efficient way. Additionally, enterprises never need to compromise on the security of mobile access connections for their BYOD users and mobile workers. And last but not least, critical resources are protected and enterprises can maintain business continuity. Now let me show you how I bring a SSL VPN service up and running within minutes in order to authenticate my remote user connection and authorize that user to access enterprise business applications with an internal web server and its associated backend database. First, I'm going to create three networks. An enterprise internal network where my business resources reside. an external network where my mobile users will connect from, and a management network to manage the SSL VPN service instance. Now let's spin up this SSL VPN service to run on top of Contrail. I first configure a service template to specify that this is a layer 3 in-network service with the proper software image for SSL VPN and all the interface types are needed. 
Then I create a service instance based on this template. My enterprise internal network, VSA-internal-VN, will be my left network. VSA-external-VN will be my right network. And VSA-management-VN will be my management network for this SSL VPN service instance. After this service instance comes up, I configure a network policy to be associated with both my internal and external networks. The policy forces all traffic between my VSA-internal-VN and VSA-external-VN to go through my VSA-service-instance. At this point, I can go to my topology diagram to confirm that the service chain is set up correctly. Next, I associate a public floating IP address to the management interface of my service instance so that I can log on to this service instance to issue configurations. This management interface receives an IP address of 10.84.53.77. In addition, I associate another public floating IP address to the external facing interface so that the mobile and remote users can connect to my SSL VPN service gateway from the public internet. This external interface receives an IP address of 10.84.53.75. Now let's launch an enterprise application that my mobile workers want to access. The two virtual machines are running the enterprise internal database and web server representing the front end and back end of a two-tier web application in my internal network. Now that I've set up all the resources, I want to configure my SSL VPN service instance. I log on to the management interface from my browser and get into the Junos Pulse Secure Access Service Manager. I first want to configure the credentials with which a remote user can be authenticated. I give it a username and password and enable this profile. Next, I want to configure a VPN tunneling connection profile so that when a remote user is authenticated, I can assign an internal IP address to him from a pre-configured address pool, which is from 192.168.124.1 to 192.168.124.1. I also want to make sure that for my two-tier internal application, the front end web server knows which backend database VM to send the request to. That's it. Now I can launch Juno's Pulse from a laptop and try to connect to the floating IP address I have assigned to the external interface of my SSL VPN instance, 10.84.53.75 in this case. Once I'm connected to the service instance, I am prompted to enter my username and password. I need to use the same credentials as what's in the user profile I just configured. The connection is successful, and I am inside the enterprise internal network. If I look at my interface configuration, I see that I am assigned an internal IP address 192.168.124.1 from the address pool I configured. I can also ping any internal address and access the internal application through the front end web server at address 192.168.123.251. That concludes today's dynamic SSL VPN service on Contrail demo. 
Thank you for watching.